A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video, but more on that later. So we bought three shipping containers, we finally managed to get them up our challenging drive-by, and now we need to find a way to level them without the help of any heavy machinery. We have a 20-foot high cube and two regular 20-foot containers that look like they've crossed a lot of oceans. So that container back there is going to be for sleeping, this one is for eating, and this one here is for working. And that's pretty much as far out as we've planned as of right now. It's going to be a flexible, dynamic build. The goal is an off-grid structure the four of us can comfortably live in year-round. We'd like power, some water, and the ability to heat, cool, and dehumidify the space. But first, we need these 4,000-pound steel boxes to be level. All right, today begins the process of lifting the three shipping containers off the ground. So I bought 12 of these concrete deck supports at the hardware store. And then on top of that, I have this 30 ton hydraulic jack. And I bought this special piece on eBay, which supposedly hooks right in to the holes on each corner and allows you to use the jack. So we have a friend who's built quite a few shipping container homes professionally, and he kind of coached me on how to go about leveling these things. There is always a small risk that the pump fails, or that it wasn't properly set up and shoots out under pressure, which is why a crane might make sense for certain people. But I doubt that kind of equipment would make it up our driveway, and the cost alone would defeat the entire purpose of using containers. I tried to take my time with the leveling process, not to rush, and to set up the hydraulic jack as stable as possible. The less height you lift, the more stable things stay. I can see how a very skilled person could level an entire container with only two adjustments, since the little jack actually lifts most of the container off the ground. But I took my time and went at it with a series of smaller moves, and the entire process only took a couple of hours. I don't know if you can see that line or not, but as of right now, the shipping container is level down to the centimeter. I almost can't believe it. We'll have to see how it settles overnight, but that was so much easier than I expected it to be. I feel like I must have gotten lucky or something with the way I placed it. The gravel pit was a huge win because it was so much easier to just dig down and then add little bits of padding, kind of like shimming. And instead of having to dig through like the soil around here with all the rocks and everything, so, Gravel pit for the win. <laughs> All right, it is day two of the shipping container build. Yesterday, I got the 20 foot high cube leveled. It turned out to be way easier than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I kind of assumed that you would actually have to like work with the pump to lift, but the pump does all the lifting on its own. You don't even have to apply like almost any pressure at all. So today I am going to level the red container and the yellow container. They're both just regular 20 foot containers. So I don't think I'll notice any type of difference in working with them as opposed to the high cube. The only difference will be, and this is a big question, whether or not 
my stack of firewood can survive moving this container and leveling it. I really don't want to restack this wood. And theoretically, if you're just going straight up, it shouldn't fall over. But the really interesting thing about leveling the containers with the hydraulic pump is that when you lift up, you lift up at the very least two sides because the steel structure is so rigid that you're not lifting just one corner, you're lifting both the corners and then potentially even like when I lifted the gray one, at one point I was lifting the entire thing except for one point of contact on the other side. So it's a very interesting type of structure to level because you kind of have to level the whole thing all at once, but you only place the concrete supports on one corner at a time. So you kind of have to think ahead, be like if I raise this one up, it's gonna make things harder on the other side. And yeah. It's actually really, really fun. I'm looking forward to getting these two leveled. Then we will be in really good shape. So this is what I would consider the acceptable margin of error for the containers. It's not perfect, but I think it's at the level where you wouldn't be able to notice it when you're living inside. So I just finished leveling the second container. Took a really long time right at the end. This crazy thing happened like when you're at a restaurant and the table wobbles just a little bit, the same thing happened with the container and it was wobbling from one corner all the way to the other by just a centimeter. So if you stayed in place, obviously nothing happened, but if you walked from like one corner to the opposite corner, the whole container would wobble just a tiny bit. And it ended up taking about an hour to fix that problem. I think like five adjustments in all just going back and forth, but it's level now and it's really cool that you can just adjust it as you go. So now we are on to the final third container. All right, place your bets now on whether or not you think my wood pile is gonna fall over when I try and level the third and final container. Arr. Third and final container is done. It was obviously the hardest one of all, but I don't think there was any doubt that the wood pile was gonna fall over. I looked back at the footage and it didn't really even wobble, it looks like. So I don't know why I thought that was gonna happen, but all three containers are level and they look so much better, honestly. I think I'm just gonna leave them the way they are for now. Some of them aren't like 100% perfect, but I feel like the beauty of this system is that you can go back and level it at any time. And it would only take like one day to re-level all three containers. So I feel like I'm gonna wait and see how the ground settles and then potentially in the spring after winter, I can fix it if I need to. Okay. I'm here and I am inspecting and really admiring 
all the work that Lou did to get these shipping containers level. It's so cool. I looked at the footage of him doing it and it's pretty crazy that that little machine can lift such a massive thing. But the goal right now is to figure out the layout of the containers and it's a really big conundrum because they are long rectangle boxes, which is kind of a hard shape to design because you almost have to divide the space up a little bit, but there's not that much space to divide. So I'm really trying to figure out the kitchen because we have it, well, we have it set up that these doors can open on this one. So this one won't have opening doors. That one won't have opening doors, but we thought it would be kind of fun to have one of them open. Um, but with them opening, it's kind of this interesting thing where when they're open, it's amazing and you have all this light and you almost want to center it like as if it was like a fireplace or something because that's like the epic view. Like, look at that. But it's not always going to be open. So I'm like, yeah, it's just interesting. But what I've been thinking, I actually did a lot of brainstorming during Max's last nap. How do I want to show you this? Like this. Okay. So what I'm thinking is like right here in the front, we could do a little kitchen table and then we would do bench seating around it. I feel like I might need to like make some sort of like digital rendering of it. Um, if I get around to that, you can pop that in now, Lou. And basically what I'm hoping to do is have a comfortable kitchen dining room area that would have room for a high chair, then have a good cooking setup because you know, we really want to spend a lot of time here. I'm not sure how many years, but, or a year to a couple of years. We'll see how it goes. But for me to be happy, I definitely want a functional kitchen. And then in the back, we're thinking we would do a bathroom. We wouldn't do it, like we would save space for it now, but um, it wouldn't really be like a proper plumbed bathroom yet, but we're thinking next year it could be. Um, and yeah, it's just like really fun to think about all this, but trying to make sure that we put the windows exactly where they should go and the doors while also figuring out the organization of the space. It's just, it's like Tetris. That's what it reminds me of. It's like a bit of a game of Tetris to try to make sure that everything finds its right home. And since Lou's gonna be cutting holes in the shipping container, I really wanna make sure I think it all through and we put the things where we want them. So it's not like, oh no, I start filming a cooking scene and realize like, oh, this is really backlit or like this, I don't know, I don't have enough room to put like the camera down to film this because it's like, I also just wanna try to make my future life easy. Um, so that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. And I did some thinking, so I need to walk Lou through it. So Lou, do you wanna see what I'm thinking? Okay. By the time this video goes live, the design process will still be ongoing. So if you have any ideas, let us know in the comments as soon as you can, because Lou will be cutting holes into these containers in a week or two if all goes well. In the meantime, I just want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that empowers you to build your own website. The beautiful templates are easy to customize and flexible enough to work well for a photography gallery, an online store, or whatever else you can dream up. Best of all, Squarespace makes sure the website will run on phones, tablets, and computers, so you can focus on designing and building, which we all know is the fun part anyways. To get started, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I think it would probably make more sense to do a regular door because it just takes up less wall space, yeah. but maybe we could still do a glass door to let sunlight in. Oh yeah, just a, you know, just a single glass door. And then I was thinking we would do the oven in the fridge here. Is that possible? Yeah. 